It is commonly taught that uh, baptism is something that should be that should only be done after accepting Jesus Christ as your Savior. If that is correct, then why do Catholics and Orthodox Christians baptize babies? Excellent question. Um, we actually know from the scriptures, from the book of Acts, that uh, even the apostles baptized children. They baptized entire households. We have this with the house of Cornelius by St. Peter, and we also have uh, the baptism of the house of the, uh, the jailer by St. Paul. Um, and we know that the church from the very beginning baptized entire families, including children. Uh, and, and in that way, I, I think that you need to see what the meaning of baptism is to understand why baptizing children is okay. And the meaning of baptism is that you become one with Christ, you become uh, uh, sanctified, you put away the old man and renew yourself uh, in the risen Christ, you die to the old man that you are uh, who uh, lives in sin and you are, and you are uh, recreated again in Christ and you become a member of the body of Christ. So why would anyone not want the children to be part of the body of Christ and keep them away from baptism? That's the question. Now, the, the, uh, the modern movement of uh, people uh, rejecting the baptism of children and focusing on the baptism of adults and requiring baptism of adults happens actually within the Protestant Reformation again. And that's why we see this in the United States uh, so strongly is because uh, some of the reformers broke away from the rest of the Protestants and insisted that uh, we should only have the baptism of believers, which is that you don't baptize anyone unless they are able to confess their faith in Christ. So children are not able to do that, therefore you don't do it until you wait until they're adults. And of course, uh, what they did, which the other reformers did not like, was that they rejected the baptism that was done as children and they wanted to rebaptize people. So that's where the term Anabaptists come from. So we have this movement uh, which is contrary to the other Protestant, uh, the other Protestant groups of this group that was called Anabaptists. They, they were called Anabaptists uh, in a derogatory way because they wanted to rebaptize. The word an Anabaptizo is a Greek word which means I rebaptize. So they used that term, the Greek term, to uh, uh, as a derogatory term against them. And in fact, we know that at some point. Uh, a lot of these people, the Anabaptists, were attacked and persecuted by the other Protestants of the time, and they were actually drowned in the river. And so, a lot of them fled, and many of them came to the United States. And, uh, and uh, we have the, the groups that we call Baptists today in the United States. They are the inheritors or the, the, the descendants of the Anabaptists who do the same thing. They reject the baptism of children and they, uh, pr they preach and teach the baptism of believers and then they require people to be baptized only after they are adults and uh, uh, after they consciously make a decision to follow God and to follow Christ. Uh, while the church from the very beginning has always uh, baptized children and gave the responsibility to the parents as well as to the sponsors the godparents, to bring up the children as Orthodox Christians, as, as true believers. So there is a cultivation of the faith in these children uh, when you bring them up in the church and you catechize them and you teach them from the very beginning when they're children and uh, you help them to uh, surrender their lives to Christ and, uh, and understand the scriptures and understand uh, what is, uh, what is uh, true and what is wrong and you do it over time and therefore you they don't miss out and for us as the orthodox too we give chrismation or confirmation which is the gift of the holy spirit as the ancient christians did at the baptism therefore we give them the fullness of grace and we offer them holy communion immediately after and we continue to give them communion so that they can always receive the fullness of grace because they're pure and therefore in that process we allow god also to sanctify them and help them to come close to Him by His grace as well as our teaching uh, that forms them and makes them into Christians. 
Now, I think that one of the results of the, 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 the idea that uh, people should be baptized after they, they're adults and they believe is that uh, the, sec the next idea was that people have to choose freely uh, what they want to become. And therefore, we have half of Europe is non-baptized. More than half of Europe is not baptized. And I think America is heading in that direction as well, that they are not even Christians anymore and they reject Christianity. If you cultivate them from the beginning, from early on, and you give them the grace of God, then you help them to understand these things through teaching and through uh, example of the family, then of course you get Christians out of it.